Yes, 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 my people. Finally, finally, I'm back at home. I'm back at home. And I want to use this medium to thank all the whole people that comes out today to all the whole people that comes out today in Dusseldorf. It was powerful. It was wonderful. It was great. It was marvelous. It was marvelous. Yes. I appreciate everybody because um, you know, dear friends, you guys know how we do it in Germany. Like um, I keep saying, we keep saying, our eyes see no face to fear. You know, we'll remain resolute. And we'll keep fighting until we get there. So all this um, on, 20, on Monday, which is the 26th, I, you know, I just came in now. I said, first of all, let me thank the beer friends. I mean, people will turn out today. In fact, you know, the match was so kinky. And then, then I know that the videos and pictures, everything, is making waves once again on Monday. Nobody should listen, pay attention to your so to so called Malami saying that uh, Beer France will not come out in solidarity with our leader, His Excellency Mazin Namde Kano. Who is the bagger? Who is that bagga making that noise? Yes. You see, one thing that the people should understand. No condition is permanent. Short and simple. No condition is permanent. Including the internet that we are using today. You know, what was a crime? Go and check the history of this internet. People were sentenced dead. Freedom is not cheap. You don't beg for freedom. You don't beg for freedom. You take it. It's very, very simple. It's the law of nature. Whenever you are hungry, you don't go around. I mean... When you are hungry and you have food around you, even if you don't have food, you don't go around begging uh, uh, in the morning, please give me tea and bread. And then in the afternoon, please, play in the afternoon, please give me akbo and the dish. In the, in the, I mean, in the afternoon, in the evening, you go begging again. No, no, no. When you are sick, you don't go around begging. You know, you just wake up. If you know what to do, you do it. Every time the mentality of our people is, I mean, it is a time that our people should look beyond begging. Our people should look beyond begging. Right? Including, and the most shocking thing is including the people, including the believers, the people that say that they are believers. You read the holy books. And you cannot come across moreover in the Bible where they say that they, right from the time of John the Baptist that the kingdom suffered violence and only the violence take it by force. You see, you never see a predator. You never see an animal. You never see a hungry lion in the jungle begging for antelope antelope please 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 let me kill you you never see that from after the demonstration we went to a slaughterhouse to buy goat meat you know when i get there i saw a lot of africans food there 
or they will just um this is the goods that i want they will point and then it will be grabbed immediately and slaughtered and prepared for them the other one will point this the other one will point that they were just pointing i was just there watching watching at the time i begin to ask them i said why are you why are you people are not begging why not of you is begging please 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 give us a chance give us a chance to look to, to eat good they started laughing they started laughing but it's not, that was not a laughing matter so i mean you see this mentality this mentality of begging this attitude of begging this attitude is not going to continue so once again smile and muzi abeba two pack wakabribo tiego share this video let it go viral share this video let it go viral on monday the 26th abuja must be shut down abuja must experience the kind of massive support that they've never dreamed and see before we are talking of millions millions i didn't say million a million we say millions millions and the, every country web ipob day for this world look we will continue in germany more are still coming nde we be if half aya na re timo na akwa kana so aya na re timo na akwa kana so never intimidation is not our own inferiority complex is not our own harass me onye ke na harass gadi na you won't harass i am grateful i saw men i saw women i saw children so you know so princes so prince and princess we troop in and we do our thing the way we we they take do ah when i no say when we when we in germans come out we they shut down we go we just shut down to set off again we, last time it was in berlin we shut down berlin and today we shut down my own state north rhine westphalen germany we shut down you know and i'm not a kind of human beings where we say this kind of a things they happen you go see me hide for backyard no way was in the you can still hear my voice ebeka unusi we address them in german language frei hide for biafra it means freedom for biafra and ich musste gerne auch in diesem moment ich bedanke mich for the solidarität we have wirklich heute geile sehr gute solidarität bekommen ich habe leute manche leute gesehen am filmen am posten das ist was wir genau in diesem moment brauchen freiheit vor namde mazen namde kano freiheit vor biafra freedom for bia freedom of biafra freedom for mazen namde kano and all you politicians we keep saying it and we keep saying it we just wanted you people to understand that this generation we are in the age of aquarius the age of knowledge even in the scripture it is say that in this day of knowledge this time that knowledge shall expand so you can come out with your low kanawuli mentality you don't come with your kanawuli mentality in this age mommy you no go work 
it no go work. We in Germany, we are watching, we are monitoring everything, even the killing that is going on right now in Enugu. Let the governor of Enugu state, let this video and this message get to Uruguay. None of you, all the politicians, will remain dead till eternity. That is why I say that no condition is permanent. And one of the foolish things that the whole Satanas should stop. You see, during the time of good luck, Abele Jonathan, the Satanas came out. And the northerners joined them to bring down their own. But no northerner, well, no Fulani will join you, the northerners, now to bring the tyranny, Buhari, down. None. None. Not today, not tomorrow. Not today, not tomorrow. Look at Mazen Namdekalo. Extraordinary rendition. And at the same time, they want to do replicate the same thing on Sunday. Bo. And all the Southerners, all the Southern leaders, and the middle bed, all of you just sat down there. The notion was raised in the National House of Assembly for Nigeria to be divided, to save life. And the so-called, the so-called, I don't know what to call him, sat there and was denying video. Man, these people are mad. Including what they did, you caught them kuro kuro, Crow crow in the hand, you are showing the things in the video. People will come out and be lying. Even when, when the event was happening and people were videoing it live, live, live. And all the masses were sat there and the people will be denying. Moreover, these people that felt that they study political science or that maybe they are political jobbers, that is the only way through politics and all these jam political jamborees. That is how they, they take feed. They are seeing, they, they will be watching things, injustice, dehumanization. People, people are suffering deep psychological effect of of that of that so of that area. Still, look at our youth. You know, if you get to social media, it's so pathetic. That only what our people knows is all about money, 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 money. I'm, you know, I'm not. A, I didn't say nobody should make money. That's not what I'm talking about. But if you make the money, how many millionaires, most of us that live here in Europe, how many millionaires in this place are you seeing? Police guiding them. Eh? I mean, if you need a security, you go to the private security company. But not, not the state. Do you know what the police represent? Repre police represent the state authority. They, you see that staff of authority. The physical symbol of that staff authority. Is the three 
executive arms of government. You have the judiciary system. You have the police. They are part of it. The army have nothing to do killing their own civilians. In Germany, we have floods of what things, you know, devastation. Only what I saw, that was when I saw the army for the very first time since I've been living here in Germany, coming out to do what? To help the civilians. To help. To help. Army. But not in Nigeria. And they didn't come with gun. Never, never in Germany, an army, you carry your gun in the city who born you. Who born you? Police. You will carry your gun to be intimidating people. Killing innocent people. Who born you? You see, all you southern leaders, because this time around it's not just on the Biafra. If anything happened to Sondi Boho, you people should dare never think to blink, to blink your eyes in this place. When we will start our own madness, when we will start our own madness, nobody can hold us back. And some of you that like to celebrate death, that like to ce celebrate bad, wrong, mistake, pointing of fingers and accusation and also and so on. My dear, don't worry. Mona, no worry. Mona, no worry. When he go say it, he go say it. Nothing shall happen to Mazen Namdekano. And nothing is going to happen to him. He will come out. That one is 1,000% assured. You see this game that they want to play, the same rubbish game they play during the time of Abiola, you know, court adjournment, court adjournment, court adjournment. This is not 2015. This is not 2016. This is not 2017. We are now in 2021. The, all this court adjournment game, may we not just forget her. May we not just forget her. You people are pushing people to the age. And you forget that, you see, when danger comes, somebody begins to run or begin to act. The person will lose. The very first thing is the person will, in his mind, he will never think of death again. He will never think of pain. It doesn't matter. People are crying. People are suffering. We saw the cows. All the whole effort that the ESN have been doing Chasing all these cattle rearers out of our bush, out of our farmland. You southern leaders and the middle bed leaders, you people are sitting there and these people are back again. Just very small percentage of food and needs. Terrorizing you people, intimidating, inferiority complex. Is destroying our people. It's destroying our people. Once anybody makes feels that him or her now can afford a three square meal, then he doesn't care about others again. If if Nigeria is so good. Why using police? Why using security when you make your money? When you as a wealthy man, why? Why must police live to be guiding the society, and then focus only on you? 
using siren to make noise everywhere. The siren that if you see if you see siren here, sometimes itself is when the when go when uh, uh, somebody's rat, pet, snake, you know, is sick. They call ambulance. They call ambulance will come and carry carry them. And you don't even when they are taking cops to the cemetery, you don't even hear one second pain. Never even see these so-called world leaders driving and siren or 20 or 50 cars including our Bundes Council Angela Merkel you don't if 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 that you see that one or two official government official car that is only what she will use you know if you want to if you want more cars then she she's allowed to have how many private cars she want but you have to pay tax for it too and all the whole people those that you will pay them full-time salary those security if the security that the government is not you want more it's not a problem it is on your own purse you will pay for it you will pay for it right so when somebody was saying, if I'm going to this place, I'll be coming with it. how many sirens? You will be hearing wani, 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 disturbing people, people's peace. For what? You make your money, you sit down and enjoy your money. People who make money, they travel around the world to experience, to acquire more knowledge. To experience things. Because indeed we say that na nonye njem konisya wa marine. The purpose of people traveling around is for you to learn also. You know, you go out, you learn also good things. You know, in, because any place you go, yes, there is, in every nonsense, there is sense. You learn good things, you learn also bad things. Then those ones that are bad, leave it for those people in that place. Carry those ones that are good. Come back to your place. Add. Because a wise man learn and add from what he knows already. Or she, you know, white person learn, go out to learn more, to add on what he knows already. But our own is not like that. Our own, everything has to be through violence, cheating, Duping, robbing dick to pay Tom, raping, no respect for our women, no respect for our children. Even in the Bible, people going to church itself, you were told, honor your father and your mother that you will live long. Good. Those one are for the children and for the youth. But at the same place, he said, parent, obey. He said, do not provoke your children. And what are the leaders are doing? They constantly provoking their children. They constantly provoking the youth. The, look, no matter how big that the adults are, the youth are always in large number. The youth are always in large number. You people, people, you people have, in fact, the kind of, the kind of. Oh my goodness me. Sometimes I just like what what are we what are we going to leave for our children? Hmm? What are we what what how would this youth survive? How would they make it? When we will now begin to be grandparents. And then they will be in their position today. Have you sat down and think about it? Have you sat down and think about uh, which heart you go have to see your grandchildren passing through the same thing your papa, your mama pass through, you come pass through them, your children come, they pass through the same thing, 
now your grandchildren. Mommy, then that is when you people will know what violence is all about. That is when you people will know what violence is all about. So, dear friends, you know, once again, IPOB German, IPOB worldwide, demonstration is going in and out. In and out, in and out. And then, you see, on 20, I know that as time goes on, can you people just imagine as um, uh, IPOB is over 190 something country, and then we just one day in the whole 190 something country, we hit massive demonstration in a day. We will break history record. Share this video, let it go viral. And that time is coming. You people are pushing us to every, including some countries that you never hear their name before. In, including communist communist country, you will see us will march. How many beer friends do I go kill? Time will come when people will come out to all these things in the army. These people are doing, they will be going people's house, police, you know, you know, they will just target some weak areas and they play. The day people will come out and make the politicians and the armies and the police kill them so that only them and the family. That is the day that they will know that no amount of weapon and no amount of bullet that they have that will be enough. Because that day, they will know that nature, nature, modern nature, have come to confront them face to face. Nothing, nothing will make this day not to come to pass. Share this video, save it. I said, as they are, as they are now starting all their jamborees, one day we'll let them get ready, including the United Nations and all the people keeping quiet. You know, this will bring me back to the warning and the song. Said, wake up now, don't give up now. There are nine we will fight for our right. So AU and EU and United Nations, don't close your eyes and deny us our right. If you keep silence, refuse not to take action, this will grow from demonstration to revolution affecting your nations. A, eh? it will affect all the whole nation. All of you keeping quiet. You are calling it a demonstration. We are, we are demonstrating. But this will grow from demonstration to revolution. That will affect all the whole nations. Because the day that all the whole countries, as long as including in Afghanistan, people should go and read. America, since NATO just left Afghanistan, not quite a long time, Taliban, Taliban is taking over Afghanistan again. Why? Because you cannot... You cannot fight ideology with bullets, with guns and bullets. We are talking of ideology. And the more you people are suppressing, killing, all these children that are watching now, reading, singing, hearing, the, lament, the lamentation, the cry, the weeping of we, their parents, they are going to be more deadly. Forget about even including the youth now that they are still, it's money, money. You don't know when they will get the, the, all this money that they are making. You don't know what they are going to use it to do tomorrow. Because um, when, if you push somebody to the wall, well, if you push somebody to the wall, what do you want the person to do? If you throw a ball to the wall, it bounces back. And whenever that ball is bouncing back, the ball will bounce back to 
the direction where the ball like. Must not. You will be the one that will. You know, that is why you see when people are throwing in ball, if you want to head it, you will be the one going to the direction in whereby you cannot be able to head the ball, to not the ball the way you want it. Because a ball that you kick, you throw on the wall, it's not just coming to you to say, okay, ah, you, you threw me as a master. No. So my people, that one apart. So once again, I want to thank the Biafra Music Industry. Thank you all for the patience. I know for quite a long time for not being online. And then also I'm thanking all the whole media warriors. I'm thanking all the whole media warriors. If you have not been effective again, we need media. Please we must collectively win this media war. Propaganda. The denouns have been propaganda past us. You know the meaning of propaganda? To propagate. What is to propagate? Keep repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, or it is sink. And it's working. The only... I, we, I have said this thing before. We have been saying it. You know, in the pre, after the war, 1967 to 1970, one of the things, the most dangerous thing that happened to us was there was no rehabilitation program. The war was fought in the eastern region, the old eastern region. But the rehabilitation was done in the people that even did, that didn't even when bomb were falling when bomb were falling in our place <clears throat> the only thing that, the only thing that was falling in their own place was uh, 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 was uh, 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 um, what they call it now popo and coconut that was the only thing that they were seeing falling from up or down but in our own area it was bomb that was falling down so when war finish instead of to go and rehabilitate the people where the war was fought then they carry rehabilitation go to go to the place where the only thing that was falling they were witnessing falling then was a coconut and popo no be madness be that you get craziness way past that one right so collectively, each and every one of us, at least we in abroad, we that are not in Nigeria, in, 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 in Nigeria, no, let me say that are not in Africa. Because what happened to our leader Mazen Namdekano and what is what hap, what is what Sunday Boho is facing have proven and shown to us that all the whole current African leaders have united against us. They cannot deny the fact. Look at in Cameroon, what they are doing, what they are doing to Ambazonians. So that is for you, for us to see that all these people have unified. And now think about these people after them their children and you cannot say that it no it's not like that because in togo we have the experience yasinbe eyadema ruled in togo until he died now his son so now are we practicing monarch system in the name of religion whereby uh, anybody that takes power now it becomes your family property a whole nation, a whole country will become your family property. Right? The same thing is happening in Abia State. After T.A. Oj, look at who is the spokesperson for the Abia State House of Assembly. The son of T.A. Oj. Why are these people, after governor, you want to be Senate, after Senate, you want to be this man, power, Madness, the worry all these people.
people, umo koko, umo faiba, umo tuwate. Agbaha, hawa umo faiba, umo tuwate. Ayama nazi onye bueno zianato. Our eyes, you know, face to face again. What are you going to use to intimidate us? And finally, one of the things that the people have not understood, including those people that are whining their mouth, tell me any country whereby a police man will look a civilian, his fellow citizens that is working, paying tax. It is from your tax money that will be used to pay his salary. And the same person will look in your face and say, I will waste you and nothing will happen. And people, and they are doing it. And people are not really taking this thing serious. People are not rising up. I will waste your life and nothing will happen. I will kill you and nothing will happen. Every day they are killing and nothing is happening. So people that are paranoia, that this fear have eaten into their lives, you understand me, are now using it that don't talk. All these people that are against Namdekano, against uh, IPUB, against uh, Sondigbo, against uh, uh, the people that want to can you people see, man, who did this thing to our people? A government official will come out and say that the bandits, the terrorists, are doing only business. Why the people who are screaming to the top of their voice, saying, stop this banditry, Stop the terrorism are being tagged as the people who want to divide the country. Femi Adoshina said that the people agitate, agitating for the, for the division of Nigeria really deserve to be sent to God for judgment. These are the people that all of you will be celebrating tomorrow. Who, who did this thing to our people? When will our people now start to reason? Then the next thing, we want to run out of that country. That is what they want. Do you people think that, you see, traveling, traveling, everybody wants to travel to come to the, to come abroad, to run and leave this place. This is what these people want. But the problem is not running away, leaving the country for them. If you run to occupy that place, after they occupy that same place, they will still come back now to this place where you are now and be telling the people they should not allow you to stay there because they will be terrified. If you stay here, they allow you in the, in the foreign land where you come, you can even still stay outside this place, organize yourself, mobilize yourself. History has taught it to the world. When Israel, the, the state of Israel, when they were being scattered all over the world, was it not outside that these people stayed and mobilized themselves and get back everything and return back to that place, fought first, begin to buy the land? And today, they are back in that place. So these people knows all these things. And that is why nobody should. At the beginning, nobody's even making a move. We all gonna stay in that place. Yes, we all gonna stay in that place. <clears throat> the same way we are good. Moreover, we outside. When somebody die, now the time where we they collaborate, where we they sell it, we will contribute money, carry the dead body of that place, of that person. Go back and dump it. Yes. Uh -huh. that, that is only what they like. Let's turn our place to cemetery. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It is our culture. Right? 
But what we are saying, the same way, we are coming. Everybody should get ready. They can't kill all of us. They can't. They can't kill all of us. They can't destroy all of us. No matter what. Monkey no find a mama lover. And I saw my boy jog. And I go, and you could go friend to this year and Na 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 na. We know they for uh, 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 we are praying. One ne, nka aruzi. This if aruzi or this thing is no longer just the things of prayer. Look, watch and pray. Now we day now. Watch and pray. Stop praying with closing eye. Right? If you don't have a weapon, we have been saying it. Something is going to begin to happen. Some of you that still want to travel, very soon you will not find an a, you, the road to travel through airport. That one goes to go the shut down. That one go the shut down. Some of you who are looking for job in oil company and other stuff, very soon that one will be first of all shut down. And many of you who are still whining your mouth, uh, breeding and teaching contrary and telling, castigating who is Igbo and who is not good Igbo. Wait now. And I just, and I on a now years ago. Day where you day, just they breed your nonsense. The day I got bugging at, the day I got bugging at telephone, see, you know how they wipe out your family. They just, Come there, they lock up everybody and they use the fuel, they surround the place. Some of you wait there for abroad. Some of you wait up at the for abroad. On a no history. I came in this country during the time of um, Syria Lone and Liberian War. Meet real children soldiers that were being rescued. Some of them are still being traumatized up to today. Right? Some of them are still being traumatized. Even, oh my goodness me. It gets to the point that you will get the people that they will tell you the story of your life. How they were captured as children soldiers in order for them to share their loyalty. They have to be the one after they have been injected with drugs and everything be the one that we're being given gun to do what in their family it is only maybe they come they say it is only two boys or one boy and one girl have to survive in that family so if you have member of your family or anything will make you not to go to that war then those that one boy and one girl they will select all of them they bring your brothers and sisters and said, okay, look at the God. Kill mama, kill papa, kill, um, kill this one, and this and this will leave. Or we will kill this one, kill this one, and wipe out all of you. That time is coming. And when we are saying this thing, people are being terrified. When the day it will sit, all this your fear and this your panic and everything, you will not even remember it again. You can cry and cry and cry and cry and cry. It won't save you. The only thing that will save you now is rise up now, speak up, join in demonstration, civil disobedient, and no referendum. It is the people who have bad intention, the characters assassins, the bloodless murderers are the people who are twisting referendum as a calling for war. That is why I cannot even understand our people. This thing is very simple. Forget about who is this, who is not from this place, who is not. The case is simple. Nigeria was amalgamated. Nobody was consulted. Everything was just, it was just at the point of gone. Now. 
people are just now saying, okay, let's redress. We have lived that system for years. It doesn't work. Now, let us now make call for a referendum for everybody now to be aware and said, okay, if we choose this to be Nigerian, let us, uh, uh, let us vote. Let everybody say that if we said no, uh, we don't want to, we have tried to be together for long. It doesn't work. But now let us try. Uh, let's be on our, let everybody be on their own. As BMI, Singage, BMI collaboration says, said that Yoruba na awosa ndi ibo na bazi. Onyo ovo la zara fan na ya, onye jina gogo bo me ya, eba ima takwa na ya bo ufu. Aina gogo yon wanyi. Ndiye banyi, onye miranyi fa. Who did this thing to us? Who did this thing to us? When did the referendum, referendum of Wokwano, come and say to your mind? As you see, Basi Kwani, Ucho onye adiyanjo. Kekwe zimbe, Nyendi madu onodo, Konyo wola kuche ya. Ndi ibo, Unu kukule no kutu inu, Unu si ni ucho inye adiyanjo. Onye na chia. Asi zeka, Itinye zeya na pratis. Kemezie onye na chia. Ucho onye adiyanjo. Onyo ule kwechini. Ohaneze e kwechini. Eh, eh, the other people e kwechini. My people ike wukwarao. O unu kwa na kebu neke jejo mwaya. Eh? O unu kwa kebu neke jejo mwaya. The only thing our people mazi, if you are gonna, you, no, the other, why did they want to kill him as in can? Somebody that is said, it mean, somebody that said, no, I will not take bribe. Ucho Nyadi Anjo is the only way we can solve this problem. So where all these people that is say that they study political science and this and that, is it not, I thought that during election, the reason why you people bring those ballot is for everybody to vote and say his, his or her mind. This is who I believe that will handle the leadership job and represent us well. Why can't we do also this thing? In, in, I mean, referendum. It is called referendum. That is the only simple thing. After all, all these people now calling calling the masses name, calling the civilians name, calling the masses name. It was the ma they said that they went to that place to represent the masses. So. And now, when the masses come out now and said, "Okay, no," um, one of the things that we send you people to do in that place, go to that place and tell them that we the masses want let referendum be conducted so that everybody we say his or her mind how we go to run this country then the same people now went outside and bring people that and brought in people that were not the citizens all of you and some of you living in abroad making noise if you living in Holland just imagine like I'm living in Germany here, and then we, uh, the German want to con German we vote we, we vote in our Bundes Chancellor, Angela Merkel, and then tomorrow, and then during the election, and the people begin to revolt and said no, we don't want the uh, uh, we don't want uh, we don't want her and her cabinet again. Let's conduct election. Let's conduct election and bring new people. Then Angela Merkel will now leave and go to Holland and go to Holland and, and England and now uh, and go to England and now I invite uh, a British army to come and be killing Germans. 
not, it's not possible. That shows that the person is a pure and physical evidence. You don't need to go too far to understand that right from, the person is not from that place. And these things is, you know, have been, these are the kind of things, the injections that they, you know, all these injections that they give people, they give the militaries during trainings and all these things, all these things, that is how they are behaving. And those things get to their DNA. And then it will affect the first, the second, the third generation. Behaving like, children, be, people behaving like a coward. My people, it is a time, everybody, there is nothing that Mazen Namdekano is calling. And all of you that are getting angry of, uh, uh, he's so abusive, he's not respectful, go and ask that Ohanes Ndibo. Go and ask all these people. What Mazen Namdekano is saying out of love to wake our people up, to wake people up. To all these men making noise, their girlfriend, they abuse them pass. Their wife have been abusing them pass. Their children have been abusing them pass. In fact, some of them are so terrified that if the work finish, they don't even want to go home. Because of what they feel that, uh, no, if I get to home, I'm meeting hell there. Like Tupac said, it was the re that was the reason why Tupac said, turn this home to a happy home. But your fellow men lamenting, and you come and be making noise. And then those people that are coming in the name of we are traditional Guinea. You never even secure your own offer. Talk less of your offer. Then the Akubezi of Fumona, the Akubezi of Fobi, the Akubezi of Fobezina, or no, the Akubezi of Fibo. Man, eh? Charity begins at home. Charity begins at home. There is no how we can just fold our arms and watching our beautiful places, talent wasting, many great talent. Vibrant men and women in the grave, bright future, life cut off shut in the grave. And people, people have to them that now just only come and join. Let's use civil disobedience and keep shouting for referendum and this thing is terrifying and then if you come the people are being maja if i had a me one maja if i had a me one maja na gune zoku the dog is city i have been saying this you see the full and cabals are creating the monster that they cannot they are feeding the the most dangerous monster because when it will start they will not have a place to run to they will not have a place to hide even including if they have a place where they can say they come from this place whether that's in a gambia people will pursue them you see people will pursue them the same way Makani bo gura ge so nye oji mado na na je nwenya onye si na onyu gwa ya ga he ju bi oya nwa ge je because when people will rise 
they will make sure that they will follow them to any place to make sure that the same thing that they have been serving other indigenous people in their own place, the people will teach them that attack is the best defense. Anybody that see them will be attacked. Any place, people will no longer kill. Any place they see them in the continent of Africa, in the continent of the Arabs and Europe, they will attack them. These people are creating something that when they will begin to cry, nobody will pay attention. Because they are doing their own wickedness in this age of Aquarius. Videos are there. This is not those days that there was no video. People are seeing now videos. Time will come way by. The videos of all the things that they have been will be so fair. Okay, Joe Benny Law, he go full everywhere. And then people will even be, you know, some people will even like um, it, set a name will even be more beautiful than when you hear foo. So all these things that they are doing, thinking that they are securing good life for their children it will not work. If what happens in, uh, you see, during the colonial masters, the King Leopard or the Leonard from uh, Belgium and all these people that participated during the slave trade and during the time of Black Lives Matter, George Floyd demonstration, angry youth begin to pull down the images of those people begin to destroy everything, destroyed and stood some of the streets that were named after those people. People stood and changed it. Those people did those things when they did it back in the days. Attracted glory for them as the explorers that they are. They were them. But this generation, all those things, because why? They cannot continue living the shame that those people brought to them in the name of bringing glory to them. It won't work. It won't work. Nothing will last forever. You are not the owners of this cosmos. There is a supreme force, a supreme energy which you and I call God, the Supreme God, which cannot be created nor destroyed. is there. It is that force that cannot be created nor destroyed. I have only capacity to wipe all of us off. The only thing human beings have that thing is to manipulate. To manipulate it, which means to control. But that does not mean that you are the boss. Right? You know, like in a German in German law. You know, if you in German law, there is what they call Eignetum und Besetzer. Be besetzer. So you can you add the, the possessor and the ownership. You know, in the law they said it is what they call I possess this and I am the owner of this. For example, let me say, it. you see, you, you, you are living in a, in a house as a tenant, so you possess, but that doesn't make you the landlord. The landlord is the owner of that house, but you possess that apartment, part of that building, and that is because you pay, you do everything. So that is what gives you right to maybe the owner of the house uh, paint the whole outside white. 
that place you the possessor do not have right to come and say hmm now i'm living in this building hmm no i don't like this white the 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 owner painting this building no it is only in that inside that your apartment is where you have right to paint it how you want because you are the possessor of that place it is also the same thing like our body it's also in everywhere and that is the reason why we all that are talking now we are just the possessor we just possess this body but we are not the owner that is why when the owner you know when your house rent expire the owner will come and collect him body back in muchanya you become a dead man the person who be out to Ariela, obituary, which means who be out to Ariela. Not a go, who be, who be your nozzle like this or tonnozzle like this. That is what we are talking about, my people. It is very, very important. Let's spread peace, let's spread love, let's spread unity, let's spread inspiration, let's, let's motivate each other. Ibo se kona kan le kwa ke kwa ke kwa kwa kan ri. O kli kli kan na bu ko se mna da hali yen. Ebe beru go bre ke si pe na sin ko kwa ya. Ata. Wa mo me gbuda wa mada wa mada me gbuda wa mo. Anya biara anya to pogoro don ke to popo. Anya ni eklizi ya ni fende mo neje. That is what we did today. Anya wa wo IPOB Germany we remain strong remain formidable. And we are thanking all IPOBs worldwide. We are thanking all disciples of Mas Namde Kano. We are thanking all the media warriors. We are thanking all our mothers. We are thanking all our fathers. We are thanking our uncles, brothers and sisters. Everyone keep keeping on. All hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. Yes, my people. From me, from here, smile, Amuse, Abriba Tupac, once again said, on Monday, on Monday, on the 26th, she cut off this area. We must shut down Abuja. And after then, any nonsense, any court adjournment, we are going to activate. We are going to activate a kind of demonstration that the world have never experienced so that the world will know that we IPOB that we are everywhere and our eye is open watching through and through looking for who is coming to devour and we have learned a lesson the very previous war we allowed them to attack us to bring the war to our place but this time around we have learned that attack is the best defense any place where you are, any place. You see, I'm not a fan of telling people, eh, leave the north and come back to the Afrodan. Eh, leave the one day. We know they go anywhere because the previous war was fought. And after we were coming back, we will make it more easy for them to be killing the people coming on the road. After doing all those things, now they go back from those places that we left and go to rehabilitate those people. So this time around, we will be everywhere so that the Osunana, the things will start from everywhere until, and we will never give up, until by fire, by force, they will be begging us with a referendum. And as quickly as possible, you see, very soon, both the Senate, both the House of Assembly, including this police that are this police that the armies that are doing these things oh nigerian police nigeria armed forces man answers answers was made the people were demonstrating for the salary of these armed forces men to be increased and they went to kill them and today the people have sabotaged the people they were fighting for are the one killing them now. And then those elite have mapped out strategies using the terrorists. Every day, every day you hear 
the terrorists have been rehabilitated and have been reintegrated into the armed forces. That makes the, the in fact, I've never, I never heard and I've never seen such kind of compromised in the armed forces. You can, you dare not, no matter how a terrorist repent, no matter how a terrorist repent, you can give him a social work. You can give him a civilian's work, but not, not in the executive arms of government. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. If not, America should go and open Guantanamo Bay. And all those terrorists, the people that they felt that they have repented, that they release, they go back to their places and then and go back to that place telling their stories and all the criminals and all these things. They could have just recruited them and put them back into the army. If in Amer if in the Western world, if you just went to ordinary prison, send, send, send ordinary prison you know, with a criminal record, and, so, and then it is in your record, some places, companies will not employ you again. Then how much more government official, Kuru Kuru, Putting the terrorists back. How does that sound? People that did not have training, military training, and they were brutal. And they were arrested. Now, put them in prison. You don't even know when they say that they put them in prison. You don't even know the kind of teachings. You don't know. They, they put them in that place as a very place where by now they have time alone, 24 hours, to be do what? To be pumping more heat, more everything on them. You know, all these things. Now bring them and say, these people now, we have rehabilitated them. Now they should go to military. This is supposed to show our people. I mean, you people are dealing with the people into intelligence and insecurity gathering. Now, when they bring them back, now they give them uniform, which means these people, when they capture them as the, those people that they say they captured as terrorists, they were not supposed to be captured. So, being that they have been captured shows that those people now they need more advanced training. And then they need more backup. They need now official authority to back them up. So that is what they did. So they sent them to a, 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 this place that they call prison. It was not in a prison. Because if they were to be in a prison, they could have been putting them in a general prison where also uh, every criminal... Ah, no. Which kind of prison are they putting these people? That is for you people to, for us to understand, they will take them and put them in a place that they are giving them secret and military psychological training. Jihad. These people, they are giving them jihadist training. Deep more Quran in them, deep more violence, read the words. Of um, you know the founder of that religion, who said, who said, I will kill until I die. I will reincarnate and I will keep killing and I will die till ten times. How many times? How are you going to be together with people that have such kind of ideology? Then you're not even talking about this time around that they are killing. They say in this one. That is why watch every time all these planet terrorists are caught. The very first thing they will be begging is for you to kill them. This message has sink into them. 
They believe if you cut them, kill them, and when they will die and reincarnate again, they will still continue in the same nomadic way of life so that you will kill them and send them again. One day, how long will you continue living with people with such mentality? So my people, from me from here, smile, I'm said, my people, stay gold. <laughs>